In this video, we are going to rebuild a cylinder off of a John Deere Fella Buncher. You can see the first step is just to remove that outer snap ring. And then he's going to knock that gland back in order to get to a groove that's in the barrel. That groove needs to be filled with an orange ring in order to get the internal snap ring out. These fellow bunchers are one of the scariest machines I've ever had at the shop. Um, if you don't know what it is, you should definitely Google it. And you can see how he has to really grind some of that gland off because it's um, been hit with like a tree branch or something and just kind of like warped it where it wouldn't go back in nice and easy. And even now he has to use an air hammer in order to push it back to get to that groove. And now one of those orange rings that John Deere is kind of famous for. Um, he had to cut this one to the right size and he's filling that groove with some red grease just to ensure that that stays in place when you try to pull it apart. It's really important to cut it to the exact size too. Don't leave any kind of gap, otherwise the snap ring won't compress and you'll have to start all over with another ring. This one wouldn't come apart with normal measures, um, so we had to use hydraulic pressure to get it out. Take the nut off the end of the rod to put new seals in and do a lot of cleaning. And now just reassembling the rod. just to ensure that everything goes back together nice and smooth. Here's a little trick. He uses a wear band with a hose clamp to compress that ring to get it to go back in. I've seen guys use like two screwdrivers, like one guy holding the screwdriver and the other one hitting the gland and it just never ends well. So this is the best and safest way for everybody involved to get that ring back in there. In order to get that ring to sit into place, you have to knock it back and then use hydraulic pressure to push the gland back out and that snaps the snap ring back into place. snap ring back on the outside and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.